And here's another idea. To speed up the wartime food drive, the gathering of seabirds' eggs along our shores. 56-year-old George Chandler puts on his safety belt before going down the cliffside. The bobby's helmet protects his head from falling rock. Chandler is lowered over the head of a 450-foot drop in search of the eggs of the guillemot, the razorbill, kittiwake and seagull. As he descends, he kicks clear of overhanging crags with his steel-studded boots. It's a job that needs nerves of steel, too, to say nothing of muscles of iron. That little white spot marks the nest, and at the risk of vicious dive bombing from the birds, the egg gatherer fills his bag. It's time now to ascend, and coming up is much more arduous than going down, especially with the precious cargo on board. As he pushes the cliff away with his feet, he appears to be leaping up the bluff. The leap becomes a walk. Over the top again, but this time with eggs all around him. Those Yorkshire rocks have yielded a great and profitable harvest. These are some of the 200,000 eggs that will help out the supply of ordinary hen fruit. Very tasty. Very sweet. And